All right, dudes and dudettes, I'm about to show you how to use Vernier Video Physics with the videos that you do for me. Open it up, tap on the plus sign on the left, choose the existing video you already made, and you will load it up and there will be a little bullseye sign. And you will use that to add these little dots to your video um, frames. And you're gonna put those little dots on anything that you want to track. If you screw up, you can tap on the dot and delete it. Okay. Make my screen a little brighter here. Okay, so you guys dropped a ball. So what you're gonna do is you're going to do your very best to put the bullseye on the exact same point on that ball. For me, I'm just gonna put it right in the middle of the ball. And I'm gonna tap and make a little dot. As I do this, it progresses the video one frame at a time. So that every next frame I get to put the little dot where I want it. Once you have that, these little dots are going to be able to be data points. But you first have to set a scale for how far apart they are. So this little line with the little balls at the end sets a scale. I know this door is seven feet tall. So I put it from one end of the door to the other and say that it's seven feet tall. Then I gotta set my X, Y axis. I want the XY axis to be about where the object started. So back the frames up, set it to about where the ball started. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then it's going to fall down below the axis. Don't rotate the axis. That'll be bad. Then you can see the graph. These points automatically get generated based on where you put the graph. So all you got to do now Oops, go back um, to the points, hit play, and you will see this happen, these dots happen with the video. So when you export, choose video with points, uh, save it to your camera roll, definitely. Don't try to export it to Ebacks Pack from the app. Save it to your camera roll. Then look in your camera roll and you will see the new video with the data points and the graphs. Bada boom, bada bing. Export this to eBackpack and you are done.